Today you're going to learn how to make anything to react to music in Blender. So let's do it. I'm going to edit this camera and we're going to use this cube as an example. So first of all, let's open this. And the first step is to import the music so we can hear the music. So we have to go here and go to Video Sequencer. And go to Add, Add Sound. Now go to your computer and find the music you want to use. I have this music, let's hear. Perfect. The second step is to decide what do you want to animate. So first, let's go to Graph Editor. And now you have to decide what do you want to animate and create a keyframe. I'm going to start animating the position of the Z because it will be really easy to understand how this works. So first of all, really important, when you create a keyframe, always you have to be at the beginning. I'm going to click here in the corner and drag a new panel. And I'm going to leave it like that and select Timeline. So I can go at the beginning. And now I want to animate the Z axis. So I'm going to select the object I want to animate. And I'm going to go or to transform, or if not, I'm going to press N, that is faster, and go here. I want to animate this reacting to music. So I'm going to click here and select Insert Single Keyframe. So uh, we only have a keyframe in the Z. And now what we have to do is to go to Channel and go to Sound to Sample. And we need to select again the music we want to use. And now the location of the Z axis have been converted to the sound samples. If we press play, we can see that this is moving. And it finishes here because we have 250 frames. If you want to expand this, you need to expand this number. For example, 600. And if you have a song really long, what you have to do, for example, now we are working with 24 frames by second. So for example, if you have a song of one minute, then you need to multiply 60 seconds by 24. And the result, you have to add it here. Okay, so how this works. Basically, we have a baseline that is zero. This number is zero in the axis. And these little peaks is when it changes. So here, it has more or less one of value. We can check it if we go here. So this is the variation of the z-axis with the music. Okay, but what if you want to increase the amplitude of the property you are animating? For example, maybe I want this to go further, something like that. So this is the maximum. To do this, what we have to do is to go to this panel. If you don't see this panel, press N to show it or to hide it and go to modifiers and then go here and select envelope. Now click here. I recommend you to go to the beginning to avoid any problem and click here. After you click here, now with reference, you can move the position of these samples. So if I click this and I drag this, I'm making the baseline and all the amplitude lower. So now it's below zero. This is zero, everything is below zero. Okay, but if you want, you can make it higher. Just let's make it negative. So now the baseline is almost four. Okay, you know how to move this. If you want to increase the amplitude, then we need to play with these two values and this one. So how this works, you can play here. And if I increase this, what I'm doing is increasing the amplitude. But to bring it back, what you can do is to select here in reference and, and bring it back to zero, more or less here. So now just increasing this and moving again that I have more amplitude. So as you can see, the maximum value more or less is almost 7, 8. Let's check it here. It's 7.2. So I increased the amplitude of the music reaction. If I want to increase this more, then I'm going to increase this number. 
And I'm going to adjust this again. More or less, if I click here, it's more exactly. So now I increase it, the amplitude. If I want more, let's increase more. So you can see now it's passing this arrow. So this is how you animate anything in Blender reacting to music. Now I'm going to show you how to animate, for example, three axes at the same time and show you some extra tips that will help you to improve your animations. So, for example, let's delete this and let's bring this cube at the center. And now what I want is to animate these three axes. Not one, not just this one or this one. I want the three at the same time. So the scale. So remember, always go to the beginning, really important, and now let's create a keyframe. And now let's do the same. Channel, sound to samples, and import the sound. Now the three axes have been changed to the samples of the sound. We can see here, if we zoom in, that the red one have been changed, but also the other one. You can hide one and see if you select here, the green one, and the blue one. So the first problem, if we go to the beginning, let's select the red one, is that we cannot see the cube at the beginning because the scale, the base line, is zero. So if we have zero in the three axes, we cannot see anything. So we want to increase this to see at least the cube always. So remember, now we are going to work with X. Let's go here, modifiers, and select envelope. And to move this, remember to first click here. And now I'm going to lift this, so we have a baseline of 1, for example, in X axis. However, that's the problem. When you work with three axes, this doesn't apply at the same time in the other axis. So if you want to apply this change to the other axis, what you have to do, a little tip, is go here and copy this modifier in this icon. So now, if I click here, this has been copied, and the only thing I have to do is to go to Y axis, and press the other one, paste, and you will see that now it changed. So now we have two axes modified. And now we need to do the same with the other one. So let's select the Z axis and press paste. So now if we go to the beginning, always we're going to see the cube with a paste line more or less of one. Another tip, if you want to change, for example, now I want to increase, let's come back to the Z, I want to increase the amplitude, remember, let's do it, you can do it here if you want to, but I don't know why, for me it's better here. So I'm going to increase this, for example, like this, and make it something like that. Now let's copy this change, copy, and if you select the other axis, and now you paste it, look at this. If you paste it, you have now two modifiers, so that's why it doesn't look like the red one. What you have to do is to delete the previous one. So we are going to get the green in the red position. I'm going to delete this one because this one is the last one I paste. And now I have the green in the position of the red. So always when you copy and paste a new modification, remember to delete the previous one. So I'm going to delete this one and paste the last one I copied. And now I have all the axes with the same animation. And remember, you can do this animation in anything that you can create a keyframe. So this is how you make something to react to music in Blender.